Just like made more sense to buy two. Please wake the fuck up. I did buy Aiden the jelly cut. Oh, I bought concert tickets last night. We have some vegan bubble tea to try. Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. I'm a little tired today. I'm really excited because I am making a red coconut curry soup and I'm gonna put rice noodles in it. I'm gonna put some red bell peppers in it, some bok choy, carrots. I just feel like I don't use coconut milk all the time in my cooking. So I am excited to kind of experiment. Honestly, like one of the things I looked forward to the most this week for it to become Friday and then I could make my <laughs> red curry soup. Got my skincare package. Today I just got a random notification that it got delivered to my concierge. Kind of good for me and my mental health because as you guys probably know I'm very impatient and I would have been tracking that sucker I want to show you guys some things that I got the main reason why I even made the order or the purchase was because my friend Just really was selling me and influencing me on this certain sunscreen. This is what it looks like just like made more sense to buy two. I already love the packaging because it comes with a pump. And I feel like for how cheap this sunscreen is, like usually things this cheap do not come with pumps. Really excited to try it tomorrow morning. I also got a different face moisturizer. So I've been really liking the Ordinary Natural Factors Phytoceramides. I think it's a very, very long name. I use that at night just because it is a thicker cream. And then I use the Isntree Gel cream in the morning. I just really like lighter gel formulas in the morning because it's just less heavy on the skin. I've gotten a sample of this before, but it's the Perito Deep Sea Pure Water Cream. I know it says cream, but it's like definitely more of like a gel consistency. Pretty affordable, I want to say. Wish the tube was a lot bigger. The next thing I got was another Madagascar Centella product. This is their ampule. Saw so many people talking about this on TikTok and also my friend who recommended the sunscreen also has tried this before and she also really liked this. She said it literally feels like water on the skin and I think it'll be really really good to use in the morning because I use a lighter moisturizer. Excited to try. I'm gonna try all this stuff in the morning and let you guys know how I like it. I did not realize how small this was. The Nua Heartleaf 77% Soothing Toner. My friend once again said she loved this. She said her pores have never looked cleaner. I did not realize how small this is. Like my hands are already really tiny and... Bruh. Honestly, my skin has been pretty good to me. I think it might be the tretinoin just because I've been on it for a little while now, but I did get the biggest pimple literally on my neck. Do you guys see that? It's huge. Aiden was making fun of it. And also when I was at the gym, I could feel it pulsating. I popped it last night and now it's feeling a lot better. I can feel the swelling going down. I also got another product, not skincare related, actually like a vegan bubble tea brand. I think it's really cool because I am lactose intolerant. I don't know, like it's very, very weird. I used to always drink milk. Like literally every morning my mom would make me drink a cup of warm milk with my breakfast. I don't know why. It's like a hojicha flavor, which is roasted green tea. I go to Neo Cafe all the time and that is my go-to drink. But I met the owner and she's like super, super sweet and I got to say hi to her little puppy. We are gonna go to the grocery store now. I'm gonna bring Aiden along with me. Thank you guys so much for watching another video of mine. I love all of you guys. If you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in a little bit. Today I'm not gonna bring you guys because I'm literally getting three things. Ew, this angle. It has a name. Yeah, imagine it went in the food. That's not good. I'm 
in a food coma because I ate so much. Also, I had to change out of my sweater because every single time I cook, I get really hot. I have full on heat flashes. Aiden was like, are you going through menopause? I'm like, bitch, the fuck? Exciting because my advent today was that Aiden has to take me to Shoppers or Sephora. And I get to spend $20. So we're doing that and then we have to go to a stag shop. He has to get it like a gag gift. They're doing a dirty secret Santa because men are still children at all ages. Originally, I was supposed to go to El Rancho with a couple girlfriends. I'm just like not in the mood and now that my head hurts and I'm in a food coma, I just really don't want to get up and do anything. We're gonna go now. I have to change. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna bring you guys on this walk because my camera's so bad in low light. Taking that when I was eating my soup, it got all over me. It's on the sleeve. It's over here. I'm back home now and I got my gift from Aiden. It is the Soli Notes Matcha Tea. They specialize in singular notes. Really debating getting the almond one because I love an almond scented perfume. I wanted something that was like clean and fresh, but also not like, I don't know. I don't like the laundry detergent smell. It's not the cutest packaging. I wonder what it smells like on my skin. It's very heavy on the bergamot and citrus. I kind of like it. It's like nice and bright. I don't love the packaging. It's kind of like hard to open. I also got gelato. I want a shower and I want to try my new skincare. Obviously not the sunscreen. Hello, I am fresh out of the shower. There is no better feeling than just being clean, warm, and smell good. I actually cannot go to bed without showering. Like it's very, very rare that I do that. I've always been a night shower and I will never change to a morning shower unless I've gone to the gym. Starting off with the Heart Leaf Toner. There's like any redness on my face. It's because I dermaplaned just before I showered. I got acupuncture two days ago with my back. The ones over here always go crazy. I don't know why. I guess it's not acupuncture, but I do get acupuncture and then they give me the cupping as well. Laying there and not being able to move when you have the acupuncture needles in you gives you like a slight claustrophobic feeling. The last couple times I've gone, I'm like, fuck, like he's gonna leave me here for 10 minutes. There was a couple times where I'd like adjust myself a little bit. There were regrets, there was pain. Okay, moving on to this, we are trying the Madagascar Centella ampule my skin just drank that up i recently went to Aesop to get a gift for someone for christmas and the girl helping me was just like so freaking nice she also gave me a million and one samples but my brother uses the parsley seed eye cream and it is so nice the only thing i can't get over is that it is 110 canadian dollars for 10 mils and then my night cream i would try the new cream that i did get but it's more of like a gel formula and at night i really need the hydration even though my skin is like normal combination i've been loving the ordinary natural moisturizing factors phytoceramides it has to be the phytoceramides one it actually feels like such a luxurious like thick cream i wouldn't necessarily recommend for during the day especially if you have more on like the oily side why down the neck but this is what i usually do on a typical night where i'm not doing tretinoin all clean and ready to go um and then now i'm just gonna obviously put on my little pajamas and my go-to lotion has been this nivea cocoa butter cream it just smells like a creamy clean scent and then and before I go to bed, I'm gonna spray some of this because this is gonna be like my calming at home scent when I'm just like chilling. I feel like I literally look cleaner and like more fresh and just like hydrated. Aiden and I are gonna watch a movie. He's just in the shower right now. I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the gym in the morning and then me and my friends are going to the Christmas market. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. back from the gym i just did a really quick cardio session because i woke up late it's really hard for me to go to the gym on weekends now i do have to get ready for the day i'm going to wash my hair and put on some makeup so that i'm ready for when liz and maddie get here so we can go to the christmas market but if i have time before they show up then aiden and i will probably go and get a little coffee or something and just go for a walk and last night i booked a last minute reservation at this restaurant that we've been to well aiden and i have gone to it with sam and emily a little while ago it's called restaurante rosina this is definitely more of like a family style restaurant which is kind of like wholesome and cute i'm gonna finish this shake i actually ran out of protein the thought of spending 80 dollars on protein is just gut wrenching i've been using the little sample packets and i'm having the snickerdoodle flavor i really should have bought some during black friday but i didn't it kind of sucks though because protein always makes me queasy and nauseous and this is the only one that doesn't i have not tried their vegan ones though so i can't speak to those just like the regular select protein is my favorite <laughs> If you're still asleep, please wake the fuck up. Okay, Maddie is reading my notifications. That's good.
<laughs> I'm done getting ready now. Final touches. I don't know if I love this outfit. I feel like I look like I go to church, which there's nothing wrong with going to church, but I don't go to church. Friends are running a little bit late, so I have a little bit of extra time. I'm just layering this champagne socialist inspired by Byredo Gypsy Water, an aromatic juniper vanilla scent. Aesop Edesis. I don't wear it very often because it can get very strong. The spray is so good on this. Being nasty and eating leftover grocery store sushi. I don't have anything else to eat. My friends are almost here. A different coffee from Quantum, which is a coffee shop that we've wanted to try for a really, really long time. Their original location actually was closed for years. It reopened and now it is in the well. So right when I saw it, I was like, we need to try it. It's okay. I feel like it's very mild flavor. It's not bad. I love the winter because when I do my makeup, I don't know, something about it, it like freezes to my face. I don't get greasy like I do in the summer. I'm back home now. It's pretty early. It's like eight o'clock, but I did buy Aiden the jelly cat because I want a jelly cat. And I feel like out of all the jelly cats, this is the one that he would approve of. I put it right here. Do you see him? I left him there to see if Aiden will notice that I put him there forever to get into the market. Luckily, if you get in line before four o'clock, they still let you in for free. That was fun. It was just like nice to walk around and then we had to rush to our damn reservation. Dinner was great. It was stunning. It was just fun hanging out with them. So nice that they came all this way just to hang out. I'm just gonna lay down for a little bit because I'm kind of like tired and cold and I just need like a break. It's gonna be an ornament, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a jelly cat. It's not an ornament, it's cute. I am a musical sports golf ball. <laughs> Thanks. Good morning. Lens is dirty, of course, as per usual, and my camera's not straight. I just finished getting ready. I did sleep in today. It's a super rainy, like cloudy, kind of crappy day. But that being said, we have like no plans today. I know that I do need to buy some coffee beans because I've been out of coffee beans for like two weeks now, and I really need to buy some so that I can like make coffee at home myself. Mm -hmm. I just actually just stopped drinking coffee. That's good to know that I don't get withdrawal symptoms. I do just want to have beans on hand just in case I do want to start having coffee again. I suggested that we go to the Toronto Humane Society because I love animals and I just want to look at animals but Aiden said no and instead he was like do you want to go mini putting even though he literally went to golf yesterday. Oh I bought concert tickets last night. It's for an artist called Pau Thu. He's the one that sings or raps. Is it Deathbed? I think so. I'm really bad with song names. One of the top songs during COVID on TikTok and it was actually like the first song I used to ever make my first TikTok. You know when Spotify tells you you're a top listener? I swear I'm like 0.05%. Tickets were so cheap. It was like $30. I bought two tickets because I'm gonna try to force Liz, who you guys saw yesterday, to come with me. I'm not like a huge concert person. I'm excited about that. That's on March 15th. Really, really close to my birthday. Um, my birthday's on the 11th. I've been trying to figure out what I want to do for my birthday next year. I know it's kind of early, but I feel like my girlfriends and I have started to do things like outside of just like dinners and drinks. I feel like we're at that age where we kind of want to do like more relaxing or activity type birthdays. I'm gonna try to get in and out of bed now and figure out what we want to do with the day. Okay, we're opening our advent. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What is it? Spicy and yummy. I got a beer. beer. Every other one is beer. Yeah. We decided we're gonna go to, to a little Christmas market at the St. Lawrence Market. Cora is doing 20% off. We actually have to remember to bring Aiden's mom's gift. We bought her Joe Malone perfume. Obviously, we haven't gifted it to her yet. If we can exchange it and use the coupon, then that would be great. We decided we're gonna eat lunch here first because we have that Thai soup left over. <laughs>
I'm at home right now. I just, well, I was home and then I came back home again because I had to drop Aiden off at hockey. He has like his dirty secret Santa with his hockey friends. We did a bunch of like walking around, looking at the market at St. Lawrence. And then we also stopped at Winners and Kitchen Stuff Plus for my mom, but I didn't find anything for her. I was looking at these natural deodorants and the lady had a sample actually for them, but it's from Routine. I'm all for the natural deodorant. She gave me a sample of Sweet Jane, which I love that they give like a little sample. Like this is so nice. You just take like a pea size amount. So this would be like great for vacation. Like, scoop them out and like apply it like a cream to your armpit. I like the smell of this one. It's like a vanilla. And then from Winners, I got these dermaplaning razors. It was $10 for 12 of them. And I feel like that's pretty good. But now my dad and I are gonna go get some tacos, some friggin' tacos. And then I don't know how late Aiden's gonna stay in Markham. So I might leave without him. back home from the tacos. It was really, really good. My dad liked the birria taco, so I think now he's established that he is a birria taco stan. Anyways, we have some vegan bubble tea to try. Um, I don't have the instructions and I don't know where my phone is. This is very nostalgic because I'm doing this in my family home and my mom used to always- Ooh! Okay, my camera, like, I don't know what it is, but my camera has just been not it. My mom used to always buy, like, bubble tea powder, especially, like, the honeydew and taro milk flavors, and then we would buy our own, like, uncooked tapioca pearls. It was such a fun experience when I was a kid. I'm so excited to try this. An interactive sweet treat. Didn't leave enough room for ice, so I'm gonna have to put in more cubes. I wanted to do a little taste test. It's kind of warm right now. Test the actual like drink. Okay, it's very like coconutty. Okay, let's try some with tapioca. Okay, I think I undercooked the tapioca. Brown sugar tapioca, so it's like adding a little bit more sweetness to the drink. But the tea itself is really good. I need more ice because like right now it's warm. If I didn't mention the name, it's called Just Great Tea and it's a Toronto based bubble tea shop. I used to make bubble tea in these glasses too. So I think it's so fun that I'm just doing this. Hello, I'm back home. I did have to leave Aiden, unfortunately, in Markham. It's like pretty late, it's like 12. I brought my hair crimper back. I haven't used my hair crimper in so freaking long. I don't know if I wanna try to use it tonight. Basically, that's all I brought back with me other than a million one tissues because I was feeling so unwell. My allergies, like I actually truly could not breathe. I was like actually feeling like I was gonna throw up everywhere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I will talk to you guys next Friday.